In this video, we take a step back and actually think fundamentally what a computer is all about, and then look at one of its most important concepts, the fetch execute cycle. A computer is defined as an electronic device that takes an input, processes data, and delivers output. In this simple example, you can see we're taking the input 5, we're multiplying it by 2, that's our process, and we're outputting 10. But this could be way more complex. For example, with a game console, the input could be the buttons you press on a controller. The processes would then be carried out by the console itself. And the output would be some form of update to a monitor and sound out through a speaker, possibly vibration feedback through the controller. To process data, a computer follows a set of instructions, known as a computer program. If we take the lid off a typical desktop computer, we can identify two critical components. The memory, that stores the program, and the central processing unit or processor, which is under this large fan and carries out the instructions. A computer carries out its function by fetching instructions, decoding them, and then executing them in a continuous and repetitive cycle, billions of times a second. Let's look at each of these stages in a little more detail. During the fetch cycle, the CPU fetches the next instruction from the computer's main memory, typically known as RAM, and then brings it back into the CPU. Having fetched the instruction, the CPU now decodes it. It inspects the instruction and breaks it down to work out what it needs to do. Now it knows what it needs to do, the CPU can carry out or execute the instruction. This could actually involve many different actions depending on the nature of the instruction itself. For example, we might have to go back to main memory and get some data. We might be asked to perform a calculation, or we might be told to store information currently in the CPU back into main memory. On a modern CPU, this fetch execute cycle occurs billions of times per second and is called the processor's clock speed. Clock speed is measured in hertz, with one hertz meaning one cycle per second. We'll be taking a deeper look at how this all actually works and what goes on behind the scenes in the next two videos. So let's just recap what we've learned in this video. A computer is an electronic device which takes input, processes data and delivers output. The purpose of the CPU is to fetch, decode and execute instructions. It does this by fetching the instruction from the main memory bringing it back to the CPU. It then inspects the instruction and work out what needs to be done. It then carries out the instruction, which could involve many different activities.